next hole, I'm not, I can't remember what's next. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, this is, this one's got two paths here. You can either aim over here and aim straight for the pin on the next shot, or take the long way around and go that way. I actually recommend that you take the tighter shot over here. It seems to be easier to hit the green no matter where you place it, so I don't know if they're trying to intimidate you by putting those rocks over there or something, but this shot is easy to make after you put the ball somewhere over here. Look at this, it's perfectly clear. Um, let's see, super backspin, because I overhit the shot, so I'm compensating with some super backspin. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Go downhill, go downhill. And that's not that bad of a leave. Um, I could have did better, but I think I can still make this putt. It's downhill though, so I gotta be careful with the speed. Yeah! Woo! I am as happy as a little girl! Wait a second. <laughs> That's an old Saturday Night Live reference. If you didn't know that, uh, only some people will get that reference. Unless they um, either watch old episodes of SNL or they watch uh, compilation clips of old episodes of SNL. Like the best of SNL or something like that. Um, I really don't watch SNL much anymore. Uh, I used to watch it religiously, but not anymore. Uh, when they got a like, newer cast of characters, I got so attached to the older ones, and I just uh, didn't really get used to the newer ones. Uh, it, it might be a personal bias on my part, but I just missed a lot of what Saturday Night, Saturday Night Live used to be. It's no offense to the creators or anything, it's just a personal preference thing. But hey, why am I talking about TV shows or anything like that? I don't even watch much TV nowadays. <laughs> Um, I think two more holes to go, and that's it for the day. Oh, I am very sad. Oh, this is a cool hole here. Look how far down that hole is. 30 feet down below, I mean 34 feet down below where the tee box is. By the way, the tee box is the place where you start at. See where those little pyramids are? Um, all golf courses use a little, little uh, either a golf ball or some sort of course symbol to... Uh, um, show where their tee boxes are, and that's where you start each hole. Oh my goodness, that was an exceptionally good shot, not to brag there. Um, I, that, I rarely do a shot like that when I have a tight landing area from so high up like that. That is very rare. At least for me it is. Um, because those shots usually give me trouble. Um, last hole, I really like the ambience of this hole. It's a nice sunset, uh, background. A lot of ruins that are gonna be in your way. It's just a really nice hole to finish off the course. Uh, nice thank you, Mr. Announcer Dude. And... So, you want to play your first shot between the bunker and the, um, the, the rough and waste area to your left, no matter what. Trust me on this, because uh, you're, you, with a lower powered character like I'm using, you won't be able to make that portion of the fairway, and there's a lot of trouble on your way to this portion of the fairway. Even if you land it short of this portion of the fairway, you, on your next shot, after that shot, there's going to be ruins in your way. Um, oh, oh, the ground is in my way?! What the heck is this? <laughs> okay, I think I got it now. Uh, watch out for that stone pillar over there. Maybe you want to curve it off. Oh, I can't curve it like that. Uh, I'm just going to have to live with my shot. Uh, maybe I hit the ball a little too far there. That might have been my fault. Because I forgot about those pillars over there. I, sh I should say it's almost positively my fault. Um... And that's a pretty decent shot. It'll be an uphill putt, but it's going to be a big side hill lie like this. Um, this is called a tier on the green. If you did, if you don't know about tiers, um, it's a really, really high uphill portion of a green that that's really that has a really steep, unpredictable lie. I mean, an unpredictable slope. And that's what a tier is basically. It's multiple levels on a green, and you do not want to be on a different level of a tier than where the hole is, like I am right now. <laughs> Um, no, nah, that was an okay putt. I guess I could have got that in, but eh, not going to dwell on my mistakes because I'm pretty sure I won this tournament with 9 under par. Yeah, I won my 4 strokes while... Wow, Bowser just took Bowser to the cleaners. I mean, Peach just took Bowser to the cleaners. Excuse me. Um, so I guess that's it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed the Mario Golf parts I made. Um, hopefully... Or maybe this will uh, get you interested in the series if you never were interested in the Mario Golf series before. Um, because a lot of 
people just pass up on Mario Golf as thinking, oh, it's just another golf game. But no, it's really well designed. It's really fun. And that is not manly at all. Oh, God. My manliness is shrinking. <laughs> all right, that's it for today's parts. I'll see you guys later.